Yeah, so we are at the comic book, well actually we're in the parking deck of the comic book shop. Uh, well it doesn't have its own parking deck, but it's a city parking deck. Free parking, love it, especially on a Saturday, hell yeah. Especially with all the traffic going on, there's actually the Wells Fargo uh, Championships going on right now. If you don't know what that is, that's golf. Sorry about the lighting, there's a lot of light coming this way, but no light coming from that way. Anyway, we're about to go down here. There's already a line forming, so we gotta hurry up and get down there. Don't know if we're gonna pick up any comics today. I might, but actually, I am gonna pick up some comics today because I'm gonna give some to my little cousin, like my first cousin's son, which is like second cousin, first cousin, first. From, it's all kind of weird. But first, I'm gonna go across the street from the comic book shop, pick me up a frappuccino. There's a coffee shop over there I've never tried, so I want to see how their frappuccinos are. And I'm gonna let my girlfriend know in case we ever come back down here, we can stop by and check it out. Let's get in here, like I said, main thing today was gonna get that Iron Fist pop and there might be some other stuff, get, try to get into those raffles so we can win uh, those hot toys. Let's try our luck. Alright guys, so we are back home. I'm um, still yawning. I had to take me a nap when I came home, man. It's been a long day. I've been up since like 6.45 this morning. And uh, yeah, like I said, I had to take a nap. As you can tell today, like I said earlier, it was free comic book day. And it was, especially for me, it was free comic book day at Memory Lane Comics. Shout out to those guys. Awesome store. Awesome guys. Awesome group of employees there. The owners are great. Jake and Ben. Everybody there that works there. They're freaking awesome, man. The deals they had going on, you know, were like, yeah. A certain amount of comics were free, 10% off all their toys, 20% off their uh, comics, I think, uh, except for new releases. What else did they have going on? They had some door prizes going on, uh, raffles. I think the top prize was a Sideshow De Deadpool. It's like a Hot Toy Deadpool. Then it went down from there, like an R2-D2, C3PO, and a bunch of other random stuff. Unfortunately, I didn't win anything, but I, I normally don't win that kind of stuff. There's probably a lot of people that bought, because you got more tickets for every uh for more money you spent so there's probably people out there who spent a lot of money and got more tickets and had better chance than i did well actually you know what i lied i did win something but it was because i was wearing a certain shirt earlier in the um video you saw i was wearing this shirt actually though whenever i went inside i went back to my car and put another shirt on just so i could win something and i'll show you what that is in a second they were supplying free stuff like donuts a freaking donut from a place called wake and bake it might be the best donut that I've ever had in my life. If I remember, I'll throw a picture up here while I'm talking about the donut because, like, oh my god, that thing was so good. They even had one that was a Fruit Loop donut. I didn't stay late enough for this, but at one point they did have some ice cream, some specially made flavors just for free combo day. I think it was Teen Villain ice cream and Teen Hero ice cream. So if you ever stayed out there long enough for that, you did get that for free. The line was crazy when we first got there, or when I first got there. I mean, there was probably at least over 100 people in line before they ever opened up. And then I went through the line and then I went back through the line because I went back there, back through the store with uh, my friend when he got there because he actually went to another comic book store before he came there. I normally like to stand there and chill out and look around a lot, but there were so many people there that just, it was ridiculous. Anyway, but they handled it good, man. They were only letting a certain amount of people in at a time and it was handled great. I'm done talking about all that stuff. Let's go ahead and get into what I brought home today, I'll get into my haul so I can go back to bed, man. I'm freaking tired, man. Alright guys, so let's start with the small stuff. This first thing is a keychain. When I first saw it, I was like, I don't know what this S is for. And something else that I got for free, let me know what the S is for. It's pretty cool. It's a metal keychain, man. It's pretty uh, nice quality there. Like I said, I didn't know what the S was for. Thought maybe it was a hero or something. I was like, I don't know what this is. But then there's a book I got for free that lets me know that this is, stands for Sideshow. Like the company that makes the toys and other stuff, so... Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. Right on the back of the box, it says Sideshow Collectibles. So, yeah, I'm an idiot. So, yeah, that's the first thing we got. Keychain. Pretty cool. I might just keep it in here. My girlfriend said I should just tell people that it's uh, S for Sabrina. 
I don't know, I might do that. Next thing we got was this thing. I'm not sure exactly what this is besides what it says on the front. Hero Clicks is some kind of game, I'm guessing. At first I thought they were just giving out what they had like extra. Actually on the back here you do see where it says free comic book day. So I guess, uh, and on the front actually. Uh, so I guess this is actual a legit thing that they give away. Maybe they, they send them for free, hand them out. I don't know if everybody got the same one. But this is Juggernaut, so if I were to play this game, this is a pretty cool character to get. Like I said, I'm not sure about how this game works. It's some kind of weird game that I'm not into, so. But anyway, it'd be cool to hang up on a shelf or set up on a shelf. Now, this next thing is a book. This is the book that I was talking about that I figured out that it was Sideshow with that S-Step 4, even though it was printed on the back of the box. It's just a big old book full of, like, like behind-the-scenes stuff about how, how they make the toys and the sculptures, like, and... It's more than just like Marvel action figures, obviously. And it's crazy, the stuff that they uh, do. Some of these pictures are awesome, man. Great to look at. Might have to actually read it, but there's, just, there's a lot of pictures. It's like a comic book almost. So actually probably more pictures than there is words. Pretty cool though, got it for free. The only comics that came out on Free Comic Book Day that I picked up were this Rick and Morty and the Dragon Ball Z Super teaser. This is kind of like a, a sneak peek into Dragon Ball Super. Like it was the very first uh, uh, Battle of the Gods kind of stuff. And it's pretty cool because you actually have to read this with like a manga or in like Japanese literature. You have to actually read it backwards. And it's kind of hard because at first I was like, okay, you got to read from the bottom and then go up and to the left. It's really weird. And actually it also has a Boruto in there in the back. And that's like a the next series for Naruto. Rick and Morty, can't go wrong with Rick and Morty, this is freaking awesome. Reading a comic is almost just like watching an animated series. Like, it just like, it comes to life right in your head. If you have a good imagination, read Rick and Morty and you'll be just as satisfied as watching the show, man. Rick and Morty, man, I'm glad they come on the show. And then I needed a new favorite cartoon and this is it. Now this next thing is what I want. I want it because when I got to the door, the guy was like, you know, they were letting four people in at a time and getting their little admission ticket and uh, handing out the regular free stuff. And I heard him before I got up there. I was like, he's like, uh, has anybody got a Hulk shirt on? Anybody got Hulk on their shirt? And this little kid had like, a bunch of superheroes on his shirt. And he's like, oh, you don't have Hulk on there. Sorry. And then when I got to the door, they let, well, they let four people in. And then I got to the door. And he's like, has anybody got a Hulk shirt? I was like, I have a Hulk shirt in my car. He's like, well, it might be worth it to go get it. I was like. He's like, where are you parked? I was like, right here at the parking deck, like 10 feet away. He's like, run and get it. So I ran, had this shirt on, you remember. Ran, through that Hulk shirt on, came back, and I got this freaking Planet Hulk graphic novel for free. This thing is ridiculous, man. I couldn't believe it. I always want to know about Planet Hulk and like actually all the details of what happens as far as Planet Hulk goes. Plus, if I could read this before Thor Ragnarok comes out. I'll be up to date and have actually know a little bit. Hulk behind Wolverine is probably my favorite Marvel character, so yeah, this is freaking awesome, man. I couldn't, I didn't know what I was gonna do. I didn't know I was gonna action figure of Hulk. I knew it was gonna be something to do with Hulk, just didn't know what it was. This was a bigger surprise than anything, like an actual whole graphic novel of Planet Hulk. So yeah, I am happy with this. This thing is freaking awesome. Now to the things that I know most of you guys here, it's like, hey, did you pick up any pops? Of course I picked up some pops. I'll start off with two of them, keep it themed. We had two brand new Rick and Morty pops. We have Weaponized Morty. You know, there's a Rick and I, Weaponized Rick. And there's a Weaponized Morty. Got this guy. And we have Squanchy. So he's pretty cool also. So I still have like two more, three more of these new wave to get. Like they brought out a lot of like, look at all that. There's a lot of them. And I'm getting the Meeseeks Chase. Because I, uh pre-order one with the actual comic book store so I'm getting that one definitely and then I still have to get I think regular Mr. Poopy Butthole bird person and then weaponized Rick and then I'll be done hopefully except for that Barnes and Noble exclusive Mr. Meeseeks still gotta find it but yeah two awesome pops from the Rick and Morty series awesome next up we had two more pops to finish out another series but it's not finished but to help start finishing two more Spider-Man pops I know lately the Spider-Man thing has been going on on my channel and that's because I love me some Spider-Man we had the regular Spider-Man that I've been talking about. Then we had the Tony Stark. This is probably one of the cooler pops that's come out in a while because we've always got Iron Man. He's always had an Iron Man suit on. This is actually just straight up Tony Stark with his fancy little 
hipster clothes on with his glasses with the uh, shaded lenses. Freaking awesome. I would have, when I, I'm going to have to eventually do a review all these Spider-Man pops because they have some really good designs, really good molds, really cool pops. And this is one of them. Finally, to end this whole video on the haul, probably the pop that I absolutely was going for today. This is a pop that was released for today, unless you were lucky enough to get it before now because some people were actually selling it before street day. But whatever, that's their hustle. And let them do what they want to do, I guess. Flippers, whatever you do, just do whatever. The free comic book day exclusive or slash previews exclusive Iron Fist gold version. Now the other one I have that's also a previous exclusive is the green and yellow. This is considered the white and gold. And the gold has a little bit of a metallic finish to it. And also the difference here is both of his fists are on fire. It has that iron fist effect. Whereas the one before that was only one hand, the right hand, and the other one is just regular. This one's a lot better. I like the color scheme of the, the uh, green and yellow. But I like the fact that this one's more metallic and the fact that his, both of his hands are in those iron fist forms. This is a freaking awesome. This is basically the reason I went today because this is the pop I wanted to get. Because I knew this would be a tough find later on down the road because it only came out today and it probably limited quantity. But yeah guys, that was my haul for today. Freaking awesome day. I should think it was the very first time I went to Free Comic Book Day last year. I don't think I went because uh, there was nothing I was really going for as far as pops goes. So I actually had a reason to go and hang out with a lot of people. It was freaking awesome, man. But yeah guys, I'm about to go uh, put all this stuff up, find a place. My wall is already getting full again. After I've sold all those pops, my wallet's already getting full again. I gotta find a place for all these pops. And so I gotta buy me one of those comic book boxes because I'm, comic books are stacking up on me also. It's crazy. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll catch y'all guys later.